Hi Entropians, it's me, Mikhail, and guess what I'm doing? I'm crying on the inside, kind of like the Joker in Batman. That's right, here, let me do my sad wave at you. Bye bye! It's real sad, because why? Because I have almost 4,000 kilograms of things on me that need to go to another planet. Because that's right, I own five shops and I've been playing this game seven years in December. And I really like all of you. I consider you all my friends. Except for this one person who just started playing three weeks ago and he just yelled at me because I asked a question. Let me frame the picture for you. <clears throat> so I finished stocking my shop. I don't know why my picture's not on. I finished stocking my shop and I thought I really need to get to Monria to stock that shop because again I've been neglecting the Monrians. They're probably as sad as I am right now. So I happened to see in space travel, space, or no, I take that back, space underscore flight, I see this person. Don't recognize the name. And it says, anyone need planetary transport? Eight ped for one way trip. 16 ped for two way trip additional two ped for stops at a space station. And I'm like, hmm, wonder if that's an Equus. Because I do own some boxes that I can pack inside of boxes and I can pack inside of boxes and make myself light. Or maybe I only need to take like the bare minimum stuff. And I'm thinking this time of night, there's really no flights available. So maybe I'll take the guy up on it. So I email him. Well, I didn't email him. I messaged him. I PM'd him. And I said, actually, let me go to my main screen so you can see what I really said. I said, what ship? And I just want to know. You got a necklace? You got a Pathfinder? What do you got? He replies back. A Slepner. <laughs> oh, he's charging that much for a Slepner. Because I have four hours I just want to sit in a vehicle when I could be playing my game. If, for those of you who don't know, this is a Slepner. It is a planetary vehicle. Yes, you can fly it in space. It's super slow. It's a pirate target. It basically sucks for space. But it's great on planet because you can land on uneven surfaces and stuff. It's really nice. But anyway, so he tells me, Slepner, and I went, oh... No, thank you. I need a warp and I have loot. His response. There you are. Read it for yourself. He sounds frustrated to me. And that also makes me feel a little bad. <sighs> but I was like, wow. Okay, he's not getting a lot of business. One, because he's charging way too much because he's not going to be able to transport anyone safely that has loot. I mean, he's basically going to be a noob transport and nobody can afford to pay 8 ped for a noob transport. So all I said was, wow, nice response. Guess what? You're charging way too much and can't compete with warps. Get some manners, please. Because I don't appreciate being sworn at when I said, oh, no, thank you. I mean, I was nice about it. God, I'm not a complete bitch all the time. <sighs> so then his response. I'll just read it. Oh no, thank you. I need a warp and have loot. He replies, of course you do. Everyone fucking does. I reply, wow, nice response. Guess what? You're charging way too much and can't compete with warps. Get some manners, please. His response, fuck off. I gotta start somewhere and my prices are acceptable. To who? That's what I want to know because I wouldn't fucking pay 8 ped to ride in a Slepner. Are you kidding me? I, even if I didn't have loot, 
I don't have all night to be letting him cart me around because that's how long it would take to get anywhere. Oh my God. So then, of course, I make a judgment call. I ask him, how long have you been playing? A week? Because I know damn well he hasn't been around any length of time if he thinks that his prices are acceptable. <sighs> and then I said the J word. I'm sorry. I said Jesus. He said three weeks, but I, I know my shit. I'm sure you could have heard my eyes rolling in Alaska from where I live when I read that. Obviously, I replied, sorry to ask, sorry I bothered to ask, good luck to you, because I figured, you know what, end it on a nice note. Maybe he will get some business. Maybe he's really just frustrated not having a good day. It's not my fault, and I should be nice, because you know, Patrick Swayze and Roadhouse taught me, you be nice. All the time you be nice. No matter what, be nice. They offer to kick your ass, you still be nice. They want to smash a beer bottle on your head, you be nice. And then you walk them outside and then beat the shit out of them. <laughs> I love that movie. Okay, so anyway. He says, eh, whatever. Doesn't wish me good luck back. Doesn't say sorry I blew up. You know, he just has this sense of entitlement. So then that kind of irked me, I'm not going to lie. Because I am a girl. And I said, my recommendation to you, pick a different game. Go play with the other 12-year-olds and wow. You won't succeed here because of your attitude. Well, and I agree. I mean, if you're not nice, reputation's everything in this game. And if you're just going to be a jackass, you're not going to last in this game. And it's too bad that he probably deposited after a week thinking, Ooh, I'm going to make money with my spaceship. Wrong. It's not a spaceship. It's a planetary transport. <sighs> Someone needs to go back and watch Star Trek. So anyway, he said, la, la, laugh out loud, really, brah? Okay, so that's m the second mistake. Because I'm not a guy. I'm not a bro. I'm not a bra. I'm not a bleh. I'm female. I have, I have teeth. They're not as big as Raven's vampire teeth, but I still have teeth. And I got boobs. So don't call me bruh. Like, what the fuck? So then I stated I'm not one. And he said, calling me 12 question mark? Psh, shame on you. Okay, fine. Maybe he's 15. Sorry. And then he ignored me. <laughs> he ignored me. I don't care. It's funny. Because it's sad, and it makes me want to cry. I'm laughing on the outside, but on the inside. My tears are running a river, or what did Jack Nicholson say in Batman? I might have to look up that line. <sighs> I'm just like, dude, these are the kind of players that ruin it for the rest of us. Just saying. It's like, go away. If you're going to come into game and deposit $10 and be a jackass, then go play Words with Friends or Candy Crush or something. Something you can succeed at because you don't have to interact with other human beings. All right, rant over. I just, I had to laugh. So now I'm going to post this video tonight and once I have a link, my friend is going to share it with him because she's not ignored on his list yet. <laughs> I bet she will be soon. So, I guess the moral of the story is be nice. Bye -bye. Because you never know when you're going to need a friend. You never know when you're going to need a connection. Networking is huge in this game. Respect and 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 reputation is like everything in this game. There's no reason to make enemies in this game. I can think of like two people that I know don't like me. Well, maybe three. Well, okay, maybe four. They're all on the Cronin crew. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I wish you tons of luck. Hoff big. Have fun. Be nice. Peace out. Look how fabulous I look in my disco. Bye. Bye. -bye. I 
am going to sleep good tonight, and I hope you do too. Mikhail out.